वेलकम बैक प्रोग्रामर्स इन द सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ उडू डेवलपमेंट सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी जस्ट इंस्टॉल द उडू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग द उडू मींस वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट आवर फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग उडू नाउ दैट वी हैव लर्नड अबाउट द वेरियस एप्लीकेशन दैट उडू हैज टू ऑफर एंड हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल उडू ऑन योर ओन सिस्टम Before the release of Udu 8 most users were confused on ERP and finance related applications now Udu 12 has added several important application that allow companies to use Udu in much greater scope than ever before for example the website builder can be installed quickly launch a simple website for your business a task that typically would need to be accomplished with a content manager system such as WordPress Despite all of the increasing option available in Udu the overall process is the same we being by looking at the general business requirements and decide on the first set of application that we wish to implement after understanding our basic objective we will create an Udu database and configure the required company information next we being exploring the Udu interface for creating and viewing information we will see just how easy Udu is to use by completing an entire sales order workflow. We will finish up the chapter by review some of the more advanced sales order configuration option. So in this series I am going to cover the topics like defining the requirements and reason to take modular approach, adding a password protected database to our installation, installing and configuring the sales management module using interface feature to view, edit and find information, adding our first product to sell writing a sales order and creating an invoice okay so first setting up an optional udu system is not easy task many companies get into trouble believing that they can just install the software and throw in some data inevitably the scope of the project grow and what was supposed to be simple system ends up being a confused mess Fortunately Udu modular design will allow you to take systematic approach to implement Udu for your business so implementing Udu using a modular approach the bare bones installation of Udu simply provides you within a limited messaging system to manage your Udu implementation you must being with planning the module with which you will work first Udu allows you install just what you need now and then installation add which null odoo module as you better define your requirements it can be valuable to take this approach when you are considering how you will implement odoo for your own business okay so what is silk worm or real world case study to best understand how to work with odoo we will build or exercise around a real world case study silk worm is a mid sized screen printer that manufactures and sell t-shirt as well as variety of printing object so using the udu modular design we will being by implementing the sales order module to set up the selling or or product managing selling information in this specific case we will be selling t-shirt as well as some other stuff too as we provide all of the information to database as we proceed through this series we will continue to expand the system by installing additional modules now here's an important tips when implementing udu for your organization you will also want to create a basic requirement documents this information is important for the configuration of the company setting in udu and should be considered as the initialized piece of documentation when implementing an erp system okay so now that we know how udu works So the first thing we are going to do is create a new database in Udu. Now if you have installed Udu on your own system server, now you will need to create a database. The necessary table and field will be added to the database you specify as you install additional application to Udu. Now Udu online if you are using the Udu online, you will not have access to create a new database and instead we we'll use the udu one click application installer to manage your udu installation okay so now that we install copy of udu you will be promoted automatically to create a new database udu database in the preceding screenshot 
you can see the Udo form to create a new database. Udo provide basic instruction for creating your database. Let's quickly review the field and how they are used. Now, if you don't know how to create a database, so this is my login session. In here, just click on the manage databases and just click on the create database. Now in here, you will find a serval container such as master password, database name, email password and so on. So now the first one is selecting a database name. When selecting a database name, choose a name that describes the system and that will make clear the purpose of the database. There are a few rules for creating an Udo database. Your database name cannot contain space and must start with a number or a letter. Also, you will need avoid a common name or commas, period and quotes. Underscore and hyphens are allowed if they are not the first character in the name. It can also be good idea to specify the name whether the database is for development, testing or production purpose. For the purpose of our real world case study, we will use the following data maze, which is nothing but the AIOC dev. So in the database, I am going to name the database AIOC dash dev dev. Okay, so the next one is choosing an email address and password. Unlike previous version of Udo in which the database was created with an administrator account named admin, Udo 12 use the email address you provide as your administrator account. This also known as super user account. Please note that while Udo asks for your use the email address, it does not enforce this. You can still use admin or an alternate username instead of email address. In fact, I typically find it easier and more consistent to use admin for the main admin user than using unique email address. So obviously I'm going to write the admin in the email. The password you choose during the creation of the table will be the password for this admin account. So obviously I'm going to add the password manager. Okay, so the next one is specifying a phone number. Now in Udo 12, you are promoted to provide a phone number during the creation of the database. You can fill this in if you choose. If you don't, just keep it. Okay, so the now next one is the language. Now Udo offers you a variety of language translation features with support for more than 20 languages. All of the example in this series will use the English language option. Be aware that depending on your language you select in Udo, you may need to have that language also installed in your base operating system. Okay, so the next one is the country. In addition to the language, Udo asks that you specify the country when you create a new database. This is used to determine the default character chart of the account that will be used for the Udo installation. So as you can see, I just choose the India. Okay, so the now next thing is loading demonstration data. Notice the box reading demo data. If you mark this checkbox when you create a database, Udo will preload your tables with a host of sample data for each module that is installed. This may include fake customers, suppliers, sales order, invoice, inbox message, stock moves, and product. The purpose of the demonstration data is allow you to run module through their piece without having two key in a ton of test data. For the purpose of our real world case study in this series, do not load the demonstration data. Okay, so now then just click on the continue. It will take some time to load the data, but it will work perfectly fine. As you can see, it's loading the base, which is nothing but the all of the XML files. In a simple way, it's loading our database. Okay, so we successfully created a new database. So in here, I am going to just name the admin in the email because remember, we choose the admin as our email. So just write whatever username or email ID you wrote in your email address field and just write your password. So I choose the manager and login. So this is all of the or apps after logged in. In here, you will find a lots of things. This is a fully GUI version. Okay, so after clicking on the create database, it can take little time before you are shown on a page of list available application. There is very little you can do with just an Udo database with no module installed. Now we will install the sales application so we can begin setting up our business selling t-shirt. Now obviously we have to sell something so Obviously, I'm going to choose the cells, which is the first application. So simply just click on the install button. 
under these cells and install these cells. As you can see, it is loading and in a simple way, it is installing. During the installation of modules and other log operation, you will often see an animated loading icon at the center of the screen, unlike previous version of Udo, which promoted your for accounting and other set of information. Udo now complete this installation untended. As you can see, it's still loading. And boom, it worked perfectly fine. If you got any error, just click on the install again. It will work fine. After the installation of the cells or the replication, Udo 12 takes you the DC Cus messaging app where your inbox and other communication activities are located. Notice the small purple teardrop that provides a helpful tips. Unlike previous version of Udo community, which displays the menu across the top of the screen, Udo 12 now nets application in a menu on the far left. Now just click on the cells in the menu to bring up this cells application. So as you can see, this is that notification and tips. In a simple way, just click on this here and just click on the cells. Okay, so this is our onboarding panel. This new onboarding panel makes it easier to identify the step you need to take to successfully set up the cells application. Working from left to right, we can see that it starts with the company data. You then pick a quantum layout to customize the look of your quantum and sales order. Next, you can define how you wish to set up your payments when a customer successfully completes an order. Finally, you can test your configuration by sending out a sample quotation through the customer portal. As you can see, this is our panel. Okay, so configuration company data. We will flow to 12 advice here and begin configuration the sales application by clicking on the let's get started button in the company data section of the configuration panel. In this form, you can set the company data to what it needs to be for all of the respective fields. In a simple way, just click on the let's start button. Now this is the form you got set your company data. Notice that both the company name and the currency field are in purple, indicating that they are required field. Field in the name of your company and some address information and then click apply to save the company configuration data. Okay, so let's just add all in one code in here and let's change the currency. It's INR is perfect because we choose the India. Let's choose the logo. Okay, so that's my logo and that's my company name and that's my currency. Now I don't need to add all of these other details. So I'm going to just add the website name and click on the apply. Okay. All will see all done check mark showing your that company data has been saved. Now the next thing you wanna do is selecting your quotation layout. Another nice upgrade in Udo 12 is to improve the section of layout available for quotation, sales, order and invoice. This framework should make it easier to add additional layout option as well. So this is our invoice and in here you can customize all whole of your invoice. Just choose whatever customization you wanna choose. So I don't want to change anything. It's perfect. So I am just going to click on the save button. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is specifying the payment option. As you can see in the order configuration, just click on the set payment. Naturally, if you are in business, you are going to want to get paid. Udo provides a variety of options to accept payment. We will explore some of those options in future videos, implementing an e-commerce with Udo on e-commerce. For now, we will leave the default option sign online. So as you can see, when you click on the set payment, because I am choosing the multiple accounts, as you can see, we got the warning. We cannot find a chart of account for this company. You should configure it. Please go to account configuration and select or install a fiscal localizations. So just simply go on the setup company, your company and select the installation of the charts of account and install your charts of account. So now if you click on the set payments, it will work perfectly fine. So there are a lots of options. So I'm going to choose an electronic signature or PayPal or credit card. So let's me choose the electronic signature for now and click on the apply. 
freaking finally we can send a sample quotation finally you can send a sample quotation to test the operation on your system not that you will have to properly configure your email server to actually send it out we will cover this option for configuration in previous video once you complete this step and hit save you will get a configuration that the initialized configuration of the sales application is complete in a simple way just click on the send sample as you can see we got this error unable to find the wkhtml2 pdf on this system so the pdf cannot be created so in a simple way we have to install this okay so just go on the peep wkhtml to pdf copy this line pip install wkhtml to pdf stop this server for a moment and paste that code and just click on the enter button as you can see it's perfectly installed now let's run the server of udo again okay so now if you click on the send sample as you can see we got this error again unable to find html to pdf on this system let me reload this